Okay YouTube, this is going to be a video on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2nd generation running on firmware 4.0 and now this does work with the iPhone 3G guys but only try this if you're not relying on a carrier unlock I repeat, if you have a iPhone using a non-official carrier please do not try this your iPhone 3G will jailbreak but you will lose your carrier unlock okay but this works perfectly fine with the iPhone sorry with the iPod second generation um, okay so as you guys can see I am on an iPhone sorry on an iPod touch second generation um, give me a second I will prove it to you guys um, so yeah I'll just put an app ok so there you go I'm running as you can see I'm on iOS 4.0 so yeah what you guys must do if you are wanting to jailbreak you need to download Red Snow um, which the link would be put in the crotch power below and you need to have the iOS firmware downloaded onto your computer and you must be running on it as well so please check out my other video on how to upgrade to that firmware so once you've once you've all once you're on iOS 4 on your device load up Red Snow have your i have your device connected to iTunes and now please note I am using a Windows computer and it does fully work so load up Red Snow you guys and go ahead and browse for your firmware my firmware is on the desktop so I'm going to take it from there um, and yeah this um, it will ask you if you're running on an MC model or a non MC model I'm running on a non MC model and for you to find out what model you're running on it does give you instructions on the screen however you can go into settings general and about and under version sorry under model you'll have MB or MC um, if you're obviously not on an MC model you'll click on no and if you are on an MC model you'll click on yes okay so I'm clicking on no and we'll take it from there now by jailbreaking your iPod Touch second generation does enable the multitasking on your device so multitasking will be fully functional on your device once you actually update your iPod Touch to iOS, iOS 4 multitasking will not be working unless you jailbreak which I am going to do as you can see you have a list of options that's available you can enable the battery percentage enable home screen wallpaper enable wall, um, multitasking um, custom recovery logo, a, a boot logo, a verbus boot, and install Cydia. I'm only going to install install Cydia, enable multitasking, um, home screen wallpaper, and the battery percentage. So click on next, and it states please make sure that you have your iPhone or iPod Touch connected um, and switched off. So this is what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to switch it off and have it connected to my computer. So there you go, it's switched off. <coughs> now, I'm just going to run through the next step with you, before I do anything. So, um, it, the, as the steps go, you must hold down the power button on the top for 3 seconds. Then, without releasing the power key, hold down the home button and the power key for... 15 seconds and then release the power key but keep holding the home key for 30 seconds so let's go back and go through this step again okay guys so be ready so go ahead click on next again hold on the power key one two three now the wall now the button home button for about 10 seconds uh, da -da -da. 3, 2, 1, and now let go of the power key and keep holding it until prompted otherwise 
Now you will see that it's eventually jailbreaking. You'll get a white screen. If you do get a white screen, it's a positive sign and everything's going through perfect. So watch out for this guys. As you can see it's downloading jailbreak data. I'll just go ahead and wait for this to complete. Um, and yeah, once the jailbreak's completed, the multitasking will be enabled and the options that you've selected, so the wallpaper etc. will be working on your device. Um, so yeah, give it a second or so there guys. Um, and yeah, if you want to know where how to upgrade to the 4.0 firmware, uh, please watch my other video. Um, and I do want to stress to you guys that you do not need to have your UDID activated in order for you to update. The firmware that you're going to be upgrading to is the official firmware that Apple will be releasing on the 21st um, of this month, which is, I believe this month <laughs> is June. So on June 21st, Apple will be releasing the iOS 4 firmware, but only for iPhone 3G, only for the iPhone 3GS, I believe and the iPhone 4 but this is still applicable for you guys on the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch and um, it does work for you guys so let us do it let us do this thing and shouldn't be too long there so yeah with your computer you can once this is done you can finish out of that and then do what you have to and again like I said guys links will be posted in the description in order for you guys to get this done so it's just installing the bundles now <coughs> and syncing flash flash Thames. I do not know what this is and now my device is just rebooted. Um, once it's rebooted I'll just quickly demonstrate to you that the multitasking is enabled on my device. Come on. Okay. Just rebooting now, guys. So it shouldn't be long at all. Now, if you did find this video helpful, please do comment, rate, and subscribe. It is highly appreciated if you do subscribe. Um, and yeah, so there's my device. As you can see, the background wallpaper is enabled, um, but the city has got a white icon. Once you actually load up Cydia and install the updates, the icon will be back to normal with the brown icon, with the default icon. So I will quickly demonstrate to you how the multitasking is working. So I'm in stocks, exit out of that, I'll go into apps, exit out of that, and I'll go into weather, exit out of that. So double click on the home screen, and as you can see, it's working. If you don't want it, click out of it. Come on, there you go. Um, so yeah guys, if you found this video helpful, please do rate, comment and subscribe. Everything is much appreciated. Thanks now, bye bye.